Well, the Spurs are in a different type of court today, looking to extend a pilot program that allowed them to play home games away from the AT&T Center. The Spurs played a pair of games in Austin to close out the regular season. That option on the table again today for county commissioners to decide. RJ Marquez tells us more about the Silver and Black's plans to play future games outside of the Alamo City. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed. Any abstention? Motion unanimously carries. Thank you. Thank you. You're, thank you very much. County commissioners voted right. unanimously today to allow the Spurs to play more regular season home games outside the AT&T Center for the next two seasons. We're going to have three games in it, so two in Austin, one international game for us at Mexico City. Spurs Sports and Entertainment believe this agreement is a win for San Antonio and a way to build their brand from Austin to Mexico. We think it's incredibly important for us to capture the competitive advantages that are available to us throughout our region. Spurs General Counsel Bobby Perez says internal surveys show that 90% of fans in the region, including Austin, want to watch games in San Antonio, and 77% want to spend a night here, meaning more overall business for the area. Bring people to hopefully Spurs games, if not a Spurs game, maybe an SAFC match, if not an SAFC match, a concert at the at and Center. And again, pushing the San Antonio brand. The Spurs doubled down on their commitment to San Antonio, pointing to their half billion dollar performance campus, which is slated to begin opening this August. We're here today developing and continuing to, to emphasize that trust that we've built with this community for 50 years. This is just the first step in the Spurs playing more games away from the AT&T Center. All of these games, including the international game, are all subject to the NBA's approval and scheduling, but it appears likely as if the Spurs will get at least two more home games in Austin over the next two seasons. Reporting from the Bear County Courthouse, RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.